the four states most watched news starts now. People diagnosed with brain cancer usually undergo grueling treatment that often doesn't stop the deadly disease. But now there might be hope for these patients. Reporter Sandra Hughes has the details. Brad Silver and his wife were anticipating the birth of their second child when he received a devastating diagnosis, brain cancer in its deadliest form. All I wanted to do was make sure I could see him the first day he was born and that was my main focus. Many patients with glioblastoma only live about a year after diagnosis. The Silvers quickly sought out whatever new research was available and found Dr. Linda Liao at the Johnson Cancer Center at the University of California. She was testing an experimental vaccine that uses a patient's own cancer proteins to teach the body to fight the disease. Results of her study show patients with the most severe glioblastoma live twice the normal 15 months after having surgery and cancer. Chemotherapy. You know, about 90% survived over one year, 75% uh, survived over two years, and about 50% survived over three years. Brad Silver lived to hold his newborn son and watch him grow up. Now living in Cleveland, it's been eight years since that terrible diagnosis. I think cancer's part of my life. Didn't take everything over, but another portion that gives me strive to improve as a person, as a parent, as a husband. Facing a disease with no cure and battling it into remission. In Los Angeles, Sandra Hughes, KOAM News. The brain cancer vaccine is in phase two of trials and won't be available for use outside a study for several years.